Oh my gosh, it's really raining. Are we gonna make it back to Tainan? I don't know. <laughs> Good morning everybody, Wes Davies here. Welcome back to another video. Taiwan lockdown edition, so we will of course be wearing our masks the entire time. And by we, I mean Catherine and I. Hi, good morning. Don't worry, we've been socially distant from everyone. We haven't really been going out in busy places, nothing like that. So we figured on a day like today when, you know, we might have gone to a market or a night market or Costco, something like that, we've decided to take our bikes just the two of us, way, way out into the countryside here in Tainan City. Uh, what's the place we're going to? Uh, Guanmiao. We're going to a place called Guanmiao. So I can't wait to get out into nature, go on a bit of a bike ride, and uh, you know, do the best we can to stay away from people and see how the day goes. Yep. And you've been here before. Yeah, I went to Guanmiao before, and it's a nice distance. It's about 20 kilometers from here. Okay. So we don't need to stop at any 7-Eleven. We don't need mm -hmm. to get food or water. We have everything in our bag. I'm really looking forward to a nice bike ride with you. It's been a little while. Yeah, it's a little too long, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> and it was like pouring, pouring rain until about 30, 30 minutes ago. We're right in the middle of a tropical storm now, but we looked at the radar and it's, it said that we have maybe three hours, four hours. A good window. Until the rain comes back, so. Yeah, and even though it rains, you know, we've been through the worst yeah. already, so it's we fine, have. it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I quite like getting out of the city in Taiwan and exploring these tiny little villages just outside of the cities. It, uh, number one, it's relaxing, it's peaceful. There's really no traffic to speak of. And then I think number two, it kind of gives you a sense of what Taiwan might have been like, say, a few decades ago, 30, 40, 50 years ago, you start to see all these really nice traditional houses and just old people kind of sitting in front of their houses and playing card games and yeah, just a nice, idyllic, simple kind of life out here. But yeah, we're just taking a little break here, and one of the reasons why we wanted to go to Guamiao is you've heard about these very famous noodles in Guamiao. Yeah, they apparently make a lot of noodles over there. Handmade noodles, right? Yeah, that they dry in the sun. I don't mm. think I've ever had any Guamiao noodle, so... The idea is to go over there and we don't want to really talk to locals or go in a shop. So yeah, maybe when we go back, we can try to cook some guanmian noodles. Okay, that yeah. sounds pretty good. Do you know how to make them? No, do you know? No, we'll figure it out though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the breeze. It is cloudy, but it is very humid. So, I mean, we are thankful for the rain. I hope that goes a long way to alleviating the drought that we've had in Taiwan. Uh, and it's definitely cooled the temperatures down. It had been like 35 degrees Celsius for uh, a couple of weeks, so, so hot. So this is a much needed respite from that uh, heat wave that we've been having and the drought especially. So let's just hope that all those reservoirs are filling up nicely and we won't have to worry too much about the water supply in Taiwan. I'm happy we're outside. Yeah. I have a feeling we might get wet later, but it's okay. Starting to hear thunder in the distance, but that's okay. And it's just so nice out here. We've been passing tons of fields, pineapple fields, cantaloupe fields. There's like mango trees everywhere. I'll try to stop next time I see a really good mango tree and show you guys. We're just riding along this little canal here. Yeah, really couldn't have asked for a better Saturday afternoon. Well, the inevitable has happened. It started pouring rain. Uh, as soon as we got to Guanmiao City, the rain just started coming down. Yeah. Can't really see it, eh? Actually, I don't think you told them, but we're, I wanted to go to Gu the Guanmiao Painting Village, which is yeah. a little bit more in the mountains, and it's a small village where there's really beautiful uh, paintings done on very old houses. So I just wanted to cycle through that and then come back. Uh, but the rain caught us again. <laughs> every time every time I'm biking with you, it rains. Like, it doesn't matter what time of year. And anyways, it's been so hot in Taiwan, so let's just enjoy the rain. Yeah, need to mentally reframe it, right? Enjoy the rain. Yeah. Stay positive. You ready? Okay. I 
thought maybe you would want to go back. No, I mean, we came this far. <laughs> Are we gonna make it back to Tainan? That's still a question. I wanna get back before it's dark though. Yeah. All right, we've just pulled off to the side of the road and we've reached the Guamiao Painted Village. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks really nice so far. Like yeah. almost every wall or building is covered in these really nice murals. Yeah. And it looks like we can kind of go around the village a little bit over there. Yeah. And the rain has let up actually, but it is getting darker. It is getting darker, so we should hurry up. Yeah, we should yeah. do our exploring and get back to Tainan. I like that one. Beautiful, eh? My shoes are absolutely soaking wet, but at least it's warm. The difference was when we were doing our East Coast trip, it was January and it was freezing cold and raining. At least this is kind of like raining and warm, so it's not so bad. Oh, finally I found the mango tree I was gonna show you guys before. Yeah, coming from Canada, I mean, the only mangoes I ever saw growing up were sort of half ripe, sort of greenish mangoes that were never very sweet and they were super, super, super expensive because they had to be imported probably from Asia or Mexico. Uh, but that's definitely one of the best things about living in Taiwan is you just have so many different kinds of the freshest, most delicious, sweetest, ripest mangoes you could possibly imagine. The rain is really coming down now. It's really raining. Are we gonna make it back to Tainan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine and I, we're in a bit of trouble right now. Uh, the tropical storm has hit and we are 25 kilometers away from home. So we have to figure out how to get back. Ready? No. Let's go to the Painted Village, we thought. It'll be a lot of fun, we thought. We have a window of time before the rain starts, we thought. And now the roads are literally a river. Oh my God. Somehow I'd be less wet if I had just jumped in the ocean. Anyway. Okay, the, the eye of the storm here. We're, we, we found some uh, guomiao noodles. <laughs> we couldn't possibly be more wet. But we are buying the, uh, the special noodles of the area. Might as well. Yeah. All right, final stretch, you ready? Yeah, we got noodles. And then we can go home and make some nice warm dinner. Okay. Yeah. We made it back. We survived, amazingly. No, the rain actually stopped uh, not too long after that huge pouring part, so time for some noodles. All right, we, we made it back to the, the apartment. A couple of ordeals, trials and tribulations, tons of rain, but... Yeah, a lot of rain. <laughs> a lot of rain. Literally biking through a tropical storm in order to get the uh... guanmian noodles. I'm so excited to try them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Anyway, look what we created. I mean... We made a Korean style uh, clam stew with guanmian noodle at the bottom. So mm -hmm. we're gonna see. It's gonna be really spicy and really warm because we're... Are you a little bit cold? Yeah. Yeah. It was a long ride today. Anyway, let's dig in and uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We're gonna enjoy this meal here and Stay warm and everyone stay safe out there. And thank you, Catherine, for joining me today. Actually, I joined you. You, you were the one that had this big idea. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, mm. some new noodles. You can almost tell they're homemade. Like, they don't taste like the ramen mm -hmm, instant mm -hmm. noodles. They're a little yeah. denser, maybe. Maybe. I'll have to try a few more bites before I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys don't want to watch us eat. We're going to relax. Uh, it's pouring rain outside, so we have nothing to do but stay at home. That's it, eh? I'm really glad that we got to go to Guanmiao and survive a tropical storm without even having to stop anywhere. Mm -hmm. We just bought the noodles, but you know, we didn't really 
Yeah, we didn't stop at a 7-Eleven or no. any shops or no. anything like that. We are doing our best, just like everybody else in Taiwan. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Do all those nice things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, I just want to eat now. <laughs>